Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews. And today we are going to have a look at how you can customize the WooCommerce shop page. How you can go from the basic shop page to a beautiful, fully customized page based on your own personal requirements. And the good news is that you can do that for free at no extra cost. All you need is the free version of Elementor and one other plugin, which I'm going to show you now. Right, let's wait no further and let's have a look at how we can do that. Okay guys, so this is our demo platform here, a WooCommerce installation. As you can see, if I click on all products, this is going to bring us to our shop page. So this is the shop page. As you can see, this is the default uh, theme template uh, for this page, default layout. So if you wanted to uh, just this up, tweak this around and make it your own, how can you do that? So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and we go into our pages. So as you can see, we have a shop page here, which is the shop Elementor shop page. So if we click on this, edit, as you can see, it says, sorry, the content area was not found in your page. So you can go and change it. So how can we avoid this and how can we actually change this page and customize it? So let me show you. It's very easy, actually. All we need to do is to install one plugin. So we go into plugins and add new. And then in the search box, you're going to type in Woo Lentor. So basically, it's a made up word between two uh, words or so WooCommerce and Elementor. So it's very clever indeed. So WooLentor. So this is the one. And as you can see here, we have WooLentor, WooCommerce, Elementor add ons plus Builder. So this is the one you want to install. So I'll simply click on this. There you go. And then activate the plugin. There you go. So that's done now. So what we need to do now is to create a new template. So we go into templates. And we're going to create a new one. So add new. And in here, you're going to select page because that's a new page you're going to create. And you might give it a name, maybe shop page, sorry, page. Or maybe new shop page. There you go. So we know exactly which is this. Well, there you go. Create template. So from here, let's go and tweak our page. So maybe we want to add a header, maybe. So let's start with this. Maybe we can add a picture and we're going to set the picture here. I went ahead and selected the picture. So the size here is 1920 by 656. So it's about 600 pixels in height and full width. So I'm going to select this. Oops. Insert. There you go. And now we're going to put that in full. And we're going to change our section here instead of boxed full width. And we're going to put no gap on the side. There you go. So now we have a nice, beautiful header. So instead of being plain like this, we have a lovely header on top. And then we go back to our sections here. And this is where the magic is going to happen. So instead of having our products like this, like we have them now, we have and you have wool and tor add-ons. So as you can see, we have a few add-ons here that's been added to our uh, Elementor plugin. And the one we're interested in is the universal product layout, this one here. And I'll show you as well the other one, the product archive layout. So this is basically how to display products. So let's go and drag this here. There you go. So as you can see, this is basically almost the same layout as we had already, except that now you have much more control over it and over the way it's going to display and look like. So first, let's add a bit of uh, spacing on top, a bit of breathing space. So we go in here, so remove this, and maybe on top we can add, let's say, 80 maybe. There you go, that's much better. And maybe you can add a title here in between as well, you know, it's really up to you. So let's go and do that. Why not? Let's go and add a heading here in between. And let's call this our best selling items. Why not? So let's put this as a big bold title. Let's center it. And we're going to add as well a little bit of spacing on top maybe a bit less there you go just like that and maybe we're going to change the font so click on this again so style 
and we're going to go into typography and we're going to select poppins and we're going to select a thick one maybe 700 there you go and might do the font a little bit small i think it's maybe too big maybe just like that there you go and then we go on our section here take care of this so if you click on this again as you can see as mentioned before we have a lot more control over this now so as you can see you have different layouts a uh, slider so basically you can slide you can have this as tabs or you can have this as default so i would keep it as default this is fine and then you can select how many columns you want so two columns three maybe four it's really up to you you know so there you go let's keep three for now so let's say, decide which products we want to add so as you can see we have only three products at the moment and why is that because these are recent products and we have set a limit to three so let's go maybe and put six now you can see it's populating the page automatically as you can see now we have six products and if you were to go up to 12 now we have 12 products so very easy indeed so which products can you add so you have recent products uh, featured products best-selling products sale products top rated products random products show by id or add id manually so if you wanted to add a specific products yourself you click id and then you type the id of your product here so show by id so this is uh, organized uh, or reordered obviously uh, random products so it's going to pick any products from your uh, e-commerce platform so let's go and keep recent products this is absolutely fine and you can select different categories as well as you can see what do you want we only have two categories mugs and t-shirts but do you want what do you want to display here maybe just mugs in which case we only have mugs you see i can go up to 12 products i only have five mugs in our woocommerce installation here so it's only going to display uh, the available products now if i add another category like t-shirts now and as you can see now it's displaying more products because we have additional products available for uh, the plugin to display so uh, what else do we have if we carry on here and scrolling down content settings so do you want to hide the title hide the price so let's say at the moment what do we have we have this picture here so let's click on this as you can see we don't have the name of the product anymore so father's day coffee mug hide the title now i just want to show the price okay do you want to hide the price do you want to hide the category as you can see at the moment we have mugs 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 it's it's handy enough if someone wants to reach that category immediately but it's up to you really if you want to hide this maybe and maybe hide the title just put the price that's fine as well and then this applies to uh, ratings as well and show product stock progress bar and then we have the action button settings so action button so what's that so let me show you if we disable this you see the, those uh, icons here have disappeared so those two here so the quick view and the add to cart so if you want to keep this it's maybe very handy someone can just hover on top and have a quick view or add to cart immediately so you have different styles style one style two squarish border white background and the same but rounded shape okay so let's say you go with this because everything is square so this matches the rest of our layout so show on normal or hover so hover means you have to hover on top and then it will reveal that section there you go and if so where do you want it do you want it on the left hand side maybe you want it on the right hand side or do you want it bang on in the middle there you go so it's highly configurable as you can see so let's put this on normal there you go so this isn't too bad and show add to card button text so if we enable this you can see now it says add to cart instead of the cart icon there you go so image settings now single image so let's say if you have a gallery picture attached to your product do you want to show one single picture or the image slider or gallery tabs so image slider basically will slide the picture 
and gallery type it will display it will display a small thumbnail like this so if you have more than one picture you have two three or four of them side by side obviously you know and you can tweak this around as well you can change uh, the border colors you can change the active uh, border color and so on so this is the actual picture that's related to this if you had more pictures it'll be in a, in a grayish color and then we have a countdown settings here you can show your countdown timer and this is for all your special offers you know so at the moment we don't have any special so it's not going to display but this is where you can do that as well now you can uh, style everything again you can change everything here from uh, you can add borders uh, content area borders product badges and all that so as you can see here are all your colors so let's say if you wanted to add um let's say a border all around your products here each and one of them as you can see we have a shadow effect as well and all that you can tweak all this uh, depending on all your own requirement of course you know so product price here maybe you want to change the color of the price maybe you want it to be red uh, to be noticed a bit more uh, to bring more attention to it there you go uh, the regular price, uh, color rating, uh, product rating, sorry, the colors of the stars and all that. Uh, product title, so again here you can change the color really, you know, uh, make it your own, whichever you want. You can go even blue if you want it to, you know. There you go. Now we have it blue. And uh, what do we have now? The content area, padding and borders. So this is the content area. So let's say if we wanted to change the background color, maybe make it a bit darker, as you can see, maybe on the gray side, add a, a, a bit of a background color to it, just like that. And if you wanted to add a border all around, you can add a solid border, for instance, and we can uh, increase uh, the level. So let's say I'm going to go to 2. And we're going to change the color and select a bit of a darker gray maybe something like this there you go and now if you update i don't think this is too bad actually isn't it so let's have a sneak peek a preview let's see what it looks like so this is what our page used to be like so we had uh, just the products like this a bit uh, bland and very simple and now we tweaked it around and people go, when people visit us going to land on your uh, shop page that's what they'll see our best selling items and as you can see now it's totally different much more professional and the good thing here is that you can tweak it around to customize it to make it your own absolutely you can tweak absolutely everything basically you know so very nice and once you're happy with your page and happy with the layout and you think this is the right page to fit on your website instead of to replace this uh, 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 product page the shop page what you do basically is go back to elementor and then you go back to your dashboard and then in here we go into wool and tor section here then we go into settings and then we go into woocommerce templates and as you can see here we have product archive page template and in here we're going to select our new shop page this is the one and then after this you just go and click save changes and now if you go back to our original page if i refresh and as you can see we have our own customized personalized woocommerce uh, shop page uh, displaying now so as you can see we have a banner here on top our best selling items and the new layout for our products so there you go guys this is how it's done so there you go guys as you can see it's pretty straightforward and quite simple as well now all you need to do is let your creative side run wild okay that's all for now i hope you found this helpful if so please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video